Good afternoon, people. This is Sam, South Carolina. Happy to be here again. And this is hive number two, uh, 302 grapevine. And we looked at it the other day and uh, decided we need to add a box to it. Well, I'm here today to add a box to it. Now, keep watching and we'll change the camera once in a while. We're going to check the board. We're going to put them in this box right here. Roaches. We have a few bees in there. We have their feeder here that they didn't like anything in, so they ate it. This one over here. Take their feeder off. No bugs. Pretty much take care of the bugs, people. They're my blessed little bees. They're over here eating their pollen. We're gonna take it off. We're gonna sit it right there. And we're gonna take this box and sit it on top of that. There we go. You are gonna do something. Take it. Sit it over here in this heavy. We're going to check these little girls out. See what we need. Put where? Here we go, girls. Y'all know where we're at. We're going to check this top one here out first. Close up to be able to see. Okay. Here. It's getting later in the day and they're coming home. Or they're home. There's a little bit of stuff off of here. Get this one. First, we may leave this one as a top. Depend on what's in it. And the, what we're going to put in there is frames that uh, I don't think heavy one here. And it's full of honey, so it'll go in the tip top box. See it, both sides about the same. Time to be we're gonna put them right here. This one. We may just change the boxes around. This one here has some honey, nectar. it over here too. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this with nuke boxes because uh, they control the heat better. If you're making a split we could, we, could, we could extract all this. We might do that tomorrow. We're not going to film it. We might do it tomorrow. Come 
Or it may be an attraction day for Sam. It is bees haven't been fed. But this one has a little bit of brood in it. A little honey. If y'all check the playlist, y'all can remember this. It's got a little brood on both sides. Both sides. Right here. And they're waiting for them to hatch so they can finish filling it up with honey. We can't extract that one. Well, some people do, but I don't. Not honey yet. This one is honey. And we pretty much extract that one. give them another few days to see what they're going to do. bottom that's good that they're laying on and they're kind of tied up against this rail again and that's what we smoke them for not because they're mean or being bad we need to get them off that frame so we don't squish nobody especially not the queen we know about where she ain't this one has some pollen and a yellow queen. She's walking around on the bottom rail right now. Maybe she'll come over to the other side. But that one there has some pollen, some brood. And the queen is walking around on the bottom probably in this cluster right here. So we're going to sit it right up here in the same area. Okay. This one here has brood on it. Protect them as we go because we don't want any queen cells. It has brood and nectar larvae that's one of their foundations that they built that got the fishing line on it so it do not fall and it's full we're going to stick it over here we got one more here bottom is clean It has eggs and some brood. See some back laid up on this one. Same thing on that side. And we're going to stick it right here. Here, see what we got. This one is laid up. That one's laid up. Down here, 
what these girls are talking to. One of those beetle jails they put in there. And we're going to put that one there. Now, we're going to go over here. I'm out of the freezer this morning and some bees jumped in there which is okay I got rid of most of them okay now got this one which has a little pollen in it be a good brood frame okay so we're going to take it Take it over here. Over here. Okay. I'm going to take this one. Put it there. Find another one like that one. We got this one. That is a good frame that they need to do some work on, and we're going to put it over here. First of all, we're going to turn these this way. Put them back in the way they came out, I think. Hello, Moto. This one's got some brood frame on it, a brood cell, and we're going to take it in and stick it right here. Okay, we're going to take this one, which is a good brood frame. We're going to stick it right here. Mm -hmm. This one has a little bit that needs to be cut off. Just a little fat frame right here. bottom of the box. Move this one over. That way it won't mess up with the other frame that's right beside it. We're take this one and slide it over a little bit more. We're take this one which appears to be a drone frame, drone cells, and we're going to stick it right here so they can put honey in it or whatever they want to. Okay, we'll move them together. We'll give them a little pollen. They're going to need it. There. I'm going to take this one. Stick it 
right there. Get a little bit more food. They didn't have that much piling. Bring them together. Put them a little bit more piling up here. Not much, just a little bit. Just let them know I love them. Then we're going to take this one. Get up. That is only five in there. There was six. We went six. We went in there. We're going to close all that up. We're going to open a little crack back here. Take my babies here. Okay, y'all go back in. Go in. There you go. Back in. I always got a few of them though, you know, they don't want to work right. You know how kids are. feet are back in. Put this pine straw in the bird pile. Take these girls right here. See them? I don't know if y'all can see or not. Okay, we got them all back up. Our baby's right there, just walking around. So we're gonna tap them back in the house. Then we're gonna take these off the top. Do the same thing with them. Baby's under here that trying to figure out how to get back home. Come on. Mm -hmm. Under the finger. There you go. Pick your bees back up off the side. It's a long walk for them. That's a good girl. Okay, go home. We got a few of them underneath there. That. We'll be going home. Okay. We're going to get them another top here. Mm -hmm. Going to get them a new top. That top has a little damage. We're going to take this. Take her off, take those off, put those on here, remark. Hope y'all enjoy that. So yeah, come back with it. Y'all wanna know how we do a split, that's it. Uh, that's not a split, that's just a this thing keep me moving. That's uh that's a checkerboard. If you're gonna make a split this time of the year, where I'm at I wouldn't want to start any now. I've got a couple that's got queen cells in it over there from 441. 441 got a queen cell in it. Both of those queen cells in the two and three frame box, they've hatched. So all we got to do now is wait for them to uh, fly out, get mated, and come back. But it's going to take, say, 40, say, if you to make one today, um, a split. It's going to take them 16 days to make the queen cell. So you're going to walk around the hive for a minimum of a week, maybe two. And she's going to go out and get mated. If the Lord 
with you and you're blessed, so you're going to get made and come back to the house. Okay, that's going to take a minimum of a week. And she's going to start laying. You'll start seeing. And if she starts laying as soon as she comes back, you've got 21 days from that time before you're going to see any new bees in the eyes. And then you'll be okay if you feed them right. Um, just depends on where you live, what the weather is, and all that. And I, I thank you for that comment that you gave us and asking that. It was actually a question, but I appreciate that. Probably helped out a lot of people with that. And I don't know where you live. You give me a comment back to let me know where you live and I can help you out a little bit better maybe. But y'all take care of yourself. Give us a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, tell others. You know, winter's coming up and there's not that much bee activity going on on the internet as far as people watching. So y'all watch, give us comments. We appreciate that. That helps us out. And, uh, you know, it's not that people said, oh, I'm doing it. I've got all this and I'm making all this money. Well, I ain't making no money. I'm doing it mainly just to help the people. And that's what I hope I'm doing. But y'all take care of yourselves. Have a safe weekend coming up, and be careful out there, y'all. We'll talk to you later.